When it comes to choosing the best web hosting company out there, it can be very, very difficult because there are so many companies that have these web hosting services. So the question is, how do you know that this company is good or this company is better? Well, it's quite tricky, but today I have a treat for you because I'm going to be showcasing a company that I think is one of the best out there. But instead of me talking about it, why don't I show you the UI and all the features that it has? for it to be one of the best web hosting companies out there. So first of all, let's take a look at the main web page. So you can see it's trusted by 100,000 companies. This is huge. And amongst these companies, we have University of Oxford. I mean, this is huge. Now, we also have uh, some of these other companies here, including Snoop Dogg. All right. So I've already gone ahead and signed up for the free service. And by the way, it is very, very easy to sign up. And here it is. You can start for free. So as soon as you log in, this is what it looks like. So what you want to do is to come over here to launch now. So here we have DigitalOcean, we have Volta, we have Linode, we have AWS, Google uh, Cloud Platform, and so on. So what this does is it connects you to a professional hosting company. So Cloudways now becomes the interface that connects the two. So let's see how it works. So over here, you can see you're on a free trial. So we can go ahead now and choose how much power we need from our server. And I really like this feature because sometimes you may go for so much power here and yet your website is not really performing that much. So this gives you an opportunity to choose how much power you need. So let's start with a basic here, two gig like that. And as you can see, my monthly amount has gone down to $30. So what's really cool now is I can go ahead and click on launch now. And automatically, I'm now taken to this page where my server has automatically started up. And there's also a video to show me how this can be set up. But I'm not going to worry about that at this moment. So what I'm going to do now is wait for a couple of minutes because here, as you can see, it's setting up my server and it's going to take about 13 minutes. Okay, so my server is now ready. And as we can see here, it says WW1 and it also has one folder here. So if you wanna access this actual server, all we have to do is to click here and this is going to give us even more information about our server. So we can start here with a uh, master credential. So this is your IP address. This is your username and password to the whole server. And you shall see where you're going to be required to use this in a few moments. Okay, so here we also have monitoring. I really like this as well because sometimes you wanna make sure that your server is running okay and everything is up to date. So here it tells you all that information. So here we have our RAM usage. You can see it's on 618 out of 1.9. We also have our CPU usage is on 58%. So really, if your website is taking a lot of resources, you're able now to come here and check to see if it's necessary for you to upgrade your server. And this is really good. All right, so let's go to manage services. Again, there's all information here. You can see your Apache is running. Now this is a a bit more uh, technical because this is for pretty much developers or programmers but the option is there we also have settings and packages we also have security vertical scaling backups and so on now i want to touch a bit more on backups because backups are very very important because if your website goes down and pretty much you've lost your website. So the backups are very, very important. Let's take a look here and see what options we have. So here on backup, you can actually come over here and take a backup now. And this is very, very easy to do. Apart from that, we also have our preferences. So we can have our backup settings here and we can schedule the time for these backups to happen pretty much every single day. Now, this takes away all the headache of getting worried that your, uh, your server or your websites might be affected or hacked and you have no way of bringing them back up. So this is a very, very important area. All right, so let's come over here to vertical scaling. Now, while your server is running and you've checked how much resources are being used by your uh, server, you can come over here and increase it just by coming over here. And just by doing that, you can say scale now. And by doing that, you've just boosted your server to get even more power to run your website. Now, you may be asking, why would I need to increase more power? Let's say you're running an e-commerce website. So initially, maybe you're getting five, 10 customers per day. Now, your website is not really using a lot of resources. But the moment you start getting maybe 500 people a day or 1,000 a day, 
your website now is going to start requiring more and more resources, which means it needs more power. And this is the time now to come and upgrade your resources. So as you can see, it's very, very easy to do. Now, I'm sure you're waiting to see how we can set up our website on Cloudways. Let's go ahead and do that. So what you want to do here is to come over to applications. So here we can click on add application. And our server here, we haven't named it, but this is our server. It's just called your server. And then we can click on add application. So now it's time to add our application. I can click here on select. And here we have a few options. We have WordPress and we also have WooCommerce. So when I scroll further down here, we also have Magento and so on. But our main focus here is WordPress. So let's go ahead and choose the normal WordPress, not the multi version. I'm just going to go with the normal one. And there's also an option for a clean version, which has no Cloudways optimization. So I'm just going to go with the basic one here. Give this a name. So I'm going to call this Mac. And my project is, let's call this Mac project. All right, so that with that now set, I'm going to click on Add Application. So now that our website has finished installing, all I have to do now is to come over here to Applications, and this is where it's going to show all my websites. So here's the one we've just created. It's called Mac. So if I click here, so here's all the details regarding my website. So first of all, we have the URL here. Let's open this in a new tab. And as you can see, this is a complete basic website. Nothing pretty much on it, which is good. So let's say you want to log into your website. There's also an option here where we can log into the admin panel. So this is our username and password. So if we want to do that, I'm going to click here. I'm going to copy my username. I'm going to paste it here. Then I'm going to come over here to my password. So for easy access next time, I can just click on remember me and click on login. So now I'm going to into my admin dashboard. So here we also have our staging environment. Now this staging environment is super powerful because sometimes you may want to try certain plugins or certain features, but without necessarily taking your website offline. You know how sometimes we have uh, some of these websites with a page which says website under maintenance? Well, we don't have to do that because with this option here, we can have our staging website which we can build by coming over here to launch staging application. So I could do all my tests in the staging application. Once I'm happy with that, I can push it now to the live website. So this feature is very, very important. So again, specific for this feature, we also have monitoring, we have bot protection, we have domain management. Now domain management is when for example, you want to point your actual domain name to this domain. So as you can see here, we have WordPress 1234730, blah, blah, blah. Of course, that can be your website. So once you register your domain name, you can point it here. And this is how you add it by clicking on add domain. But I will be showing you that in future videos. We also have SSL certificate. Now, remember, I mentioned that you could have an e-commerce website or you want to sell products on your website. Having SSL is very important because all your transactions are going to be encrypted. So this, again, can be added over here. And this is free. Here, for this actual website, we also have backup and restore. So we can specifically do our settings for this actual website, again, which is very, very good. So we have application, we have uh, migration tools, and so on. So when it comes to migration tools, there are several ways that you can move a website from a different hosting company onto Cloudways. Now, I'll also be doing some more tutorials on that, so be sure to subscribe. Okay, so now that our website is up, what other features do we have that make Cloudways super powerful? Wow. Over here, we have a team. So chances are you're designing this website and you may want to do this with your team members or maybe you're a design agency. Well, this makes the process of creating your team and putting your team together very, very easy. Now, as you can see here, I can click on add new team member. And once I do that, I can now select which permissions I need for each team member. So I can say maybe I want them to have access to the billing access. I may also want them to have access to support and maybe console access. It just depends. Over here, we have our status. You can set it to active, which it is. 
And you can also add their email address here. And we can also add their name and the job title. So as you can see here, all your team members are going to have a job title, which means you're going to now distinguish them based on the permissions. So if uh, the person is, say, a project manager, you may want to give them access to support and maybe perhaps maybe the billing access. If they're the product uh, manager or the architect, you can just choose whatever you want over here. So this is a very, very good feature. Now, you can also group this based on projects. Now, remember, I created mine called Mac Project. So you can actually have different types of projects that you have on the, on the platform Cloudways. So some projects may be Mac projects, some of them may be client projects, some of them may be experimental. So it's up to you, but this is very good because you can go in and group these. Finally, the other area I want to talk about is over here. For quick access to your account, you can just come to the top right here, you go into your account and then you have all your billing information and so on. So let's say you're having trouble and perhaps you're stuck and you need some help. Well, it is very easy to get some help because over here on the on the right side, you can click on need a hand. And now we have access to this chat option. So this is our pretty much 24 seven. And you can see here we have our agents. So I can go in here and pretty much send a message. There's also a bot that can help us if uh, some of our questions are generic questions. So as you can see here, this is a bot. I can go on technical help, billing or affiliate. So as you can see, this is a very, very powerful system. Now let's go on to our website and take a look and see how easy it is to start working on it. So let's say I want to go in and do uh, basic changes. I can go in and go to all pages here and pretty much see how many pages we have. And there's two. If I wanted to add a page, I can just go in and start working on my website. Ideally, the first page we want to work on is the home page. So we can give it a title here of uh, home, publish it. So at this point now, we are into our WordPress website. We can start developing. We can add our plugins. We can start adding all our themes and so on. And all the changes that are happening are pretty much on our website. And everything is on our server right here. So at any point you want to go back to your servers, you can just click on server. You can have as many as you want. Again, you can distinguish them based on how you're working. Perhaps these are different design agencies you're working with. It's pretty much up to you. And adding all these servers is very, very easy. So as you can see, this is a quick rundown of Cloudways, how easy it is to sign up, set up your website, set up your server. I am going to be doing a series of videos where I'll be showing you how to utilize Cloudways and get the best out of it. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. So this has been pretty much the best web hosting company out there because the features are fantastic. You're able to scale. You're able to set up this as a design agency or even use this as an individual. And there are so many hosting servers that you can choose from. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you again in the next one. Take care.